Today, we are talking about how to control your hunger. If you are trying to lose weight, that means you are creating a calorie deficit and eating less calories than your body needs in a day. But the one thing that tends to derail most people, I mean, I would say everybody, me included, is hunger. You know how it gets. That first week of dieting might be easy. Second week, not as easy, but manageable. And by that third, fourth, fifth week, when you really start seeing the results, you are craving everything. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, you got food on your mind. And the only way to push through that is to find a way to control that hunger. So in today's video, I'm going to go over my top five tips to control that hunger and to crush it that way. The results we make while we are losing weight and getting ready for the beach this summer are everlasting. So if y'all are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! So the first tip I'm gonna give you, which is gonna be especially helpful to those of you out there that struggle with binge eating. I am a chronic binger. That's been the downfall of almost every diet I've ever done. I get to a good point on my diet. I feel like I'm looking good. I'm really lean. I'm really starting to see all my abs come in fully. And then I eat until I'm absolutely miserable. So if you are a binger, this is probably the single best tip I can give you. So number one, what we wanna do is eat high volume, low calorie, dense foods. And for layman's terms, what that means essentially is that you want your food to be as big as possible from a size perspective while containing the minimum amount of calories. The ultimate goal here being that it's going to take you a long time to eat it and it's really going to fill your stomach up. It takes your stomach between 20-30 minutes for it to actually send the signals to your brain to tell you that you're full from what you're eating. So if you're eating things like fried chicken wings, each wing can have about 150-200 calories if it's deep fried. You order an order of 20, you might realistically be full after 10 of them, which is still a lot of calories and not a lot of volume, but those signals aren't going to go to your brain until you've already wiped all 20 out and then you're miserable. We've all been there before. You order a pizza, you're starving, you sit down. You can eat half, three quarters, a full large. I've eaten a full large pizza. And the whole time you're eating it, you think you're hungry and then you get to the end of it and you're stuffed. So what a higher volume, lower calorie food is gonna do is not only gonna keep those calories low, but it's gonna take you a long time to eat it. I've always been someone that is a speed eater. I always eat really fast. It's almost to me like food's not gonna exist tomorrow when I'm eating. I mean, I know some of y'all can relate, but if you're eating the right foods by default, it's gonna take you a long time to eat them. If you watch my channel, things like anabolic, French toast. The veggie pizza I just put out, that's a really high volume pizza loaded down with protein, but it take you a long time to eat. The anabolic chicken Caesar salad is loaded down with protein. It's got chicken and it's got an entire huge bowl of romaine lettuce. We put a custom dressing on it and the thing tastes incredible. It's like you went to a restaurant and ordered a salad, but all in all, the calories on this for the amount of volume are extremely low. And this is something I've been trying to employ every day is a massive salad because I feel super satisfied. It takes me a long time to eat it. I can watch a show on YouTube, on Netflix, whatever. And then by the time I'm I'm done, I'm not chaining foods together and just like run into the pantry and trying to find something to eat. And there's even another tip I can give you. Things like protein bars, most specifically the Anabar, best protein bar on the market. Restock coming soon, follow me on social media. What you can do with these is throw them in the freezer. They're not only incredible that way, I mean, this is like a dessert in the freezer, but it's gonna take you longer to eat it. I could eat this Anabar in five seconds if I wanted to, but if I freeze it, it forces me to slow down, enjoy it a little longer. And if you can stretch that time out, you're gonna be much better off. So to recap, rule number one, if we're eating higher volume foods that are taking us longer to eat. We're controlling the calories while simultaneously controlling our hunger. We want to give our bodies time to send that signal to our brain. So if you're someone that struggles with this hardcore and you have binge eating problems like I've struggled with my whole life, make those foods bigger and strategically place them in your day where you're most likely to binge and you're going to be way better off. And the second rule, in order to eliminate our hunger at the same time, we have to be able to eliminate our craving. I've been on some crazy strict diets in the past. Chicken, rice, broccoli, fish, rice, asparagus, egg white, spinach. That sounds like the last meal they'd give you in hell. But I strictly remember the last time I went on one of those diets, I would sit at night and I would watch Sam the cooking guy on YouTube and just salivate over these foods. I would build up this super unhealthy relationship with foods on my channel. And like when it would come to cheat meal night, I just couldn't wait to have a pizza. I couldn't wait to have donuts. And you see it a lot with people that compete. They do these crazy strict diets. They get down in the best shape they possibly can. And they have this list of foods they want afterwards. And then when it comes time to actually be off the diet, there's no balance there. They cut the cardio out and they just start 
start eating whatever is in sight because they build up this super unhealthy obsession with certain types of food. And you already know what we do on this channel, right? Well, I always preach this. There's no craving that we can't crush the right way. So you look at my thumbnails, you look at the foods I eat. If you Even if you follow my Instagram, you see what I'm doing. If you're only eating egg whites and spinach for breakfast, then a stack of chocolate chip waffles looks orgasmic. If you haven't eaten pizza for an entire prep, then a pizza is probably sounding like heaven on earth. And don't even get me started on donuts. I mean, donuts are good regardless, but if you haven't had anything sweet for a while, then you're probably sitting around hating your life. So what I preach to control those cravings is to simply eat the foods you want, but make the better choices. This is something that helped me tremendously because technically in my diet, even though I'm in a deficit and I'm hungry, if there's something specifically I want, like a pizza, like my favorite breakfast or ice cream, I can make it. I just have to make it the right way. So if you're already on this channel, I assume you see the videos I do, you see the thumbnails, you already know what it is. And I recommend if you have diets you've done in the past that haven't worked for you and you always end up falling off at some point, give these recipes a try when you need them. Those anabolic McFlurries and the blizzards are incredible. They're loaded with protein. They're gonna leave you completely stuffed. The pizzas are also incredible. And once you eat them, once you actually finish them, you're gonna be like, wow, I had pizza today and I'm on a diet. And that craving, that food that just seems so out of reach, you just had it and it wasn't that big of a deal. And if you wanna make it even easier, you can always check out my anabolic cookbook, which has every single recipe on this channel broken down. So it's just right in your pocket. So you got your grocery list in here, what you need to weigh out, how you need to make it, how you need to track it in your phone and fit it right into your diet. This is basically how I eat now. And it makes this whole process much easier. But if you don't got this, don't worry because all the recipes are also on the channel. Well, almost all of them. So at this point, we are eating the right foods. We're eating higher volume foods. Our hunger should be in a pretty good spot. But to ramp it up even further, what we need to do is dramatically increase our water intake. What I recommend is that you drink at least a gallon of water a day. That is my minimum goal that I set for myself every day and I go over it rather easily. Check me out, man. It is about 1 p.m. and this is my gallon. I start with a full gallon every day. We got about a quarter left. And that's not plain. If you look, it's a little cloudy. And that's because I flavor it because I think just drinking plain water all day isn't what I like to do. So when it's got some flavor, it's much easier to get down. And I do that by putting two scoops of Final Boss Aminos in there. FinalBossFormance.com could RGF 10 will save you 10%, but you don't necessarily have to use aminos. There's plenty of zero calorie drink enhancers you can get at your local grocery. I just like this because two scoops is perfect and it lasts me forever. And what's gonna happen when you up your water intakes, it's gonna fill your stomach up more. It's gonna make it harder to eat a lot of food because you're gonna have a lot in there to begin with. Think of it this way. Have you ever went out and you've eaten a lot of really bad food? You've went off the rails, you're completely stuffed and you realize out of nowhere that you're super thirsty and you chug a bunch of water, not even really considering what that's gonna do to your stomach and next thing you know, you are some of the most miserable you've ever been. Exactly. So imagine if you were drinking that water all day and you go out and you try to binge, you're gonna reach that full point much sooner. And a lot of times too, our stomach can send weird signals to our brain telling us that we're hungry when we're actually just a little dehydrated. And there's some crazy statistics. I don't have the number right here. There's a high percentage of people that walk around chronically dehydrated all day. So not only is the water gonna help our hunger, but it helps everything. Being well hydrated is gonna help you with a myriad of things. So if you someone has been neglecting that water, make sure you get it in. And another pro tip for me, at night, if I'm out of calories or I also wanna expand my stomach or I wanna have something along with a meal, give myself a little treat, but also attack that hunger, I'll drink tons of zero calorie sodas. Let's say Diet Coke, caffeine free. My main go-tos are Diet Coke, Diet Root Beer, and Diet 7-Up because they don't have caffeine, so I'm not worried about like drinking one before bed and then uh, being jittery in bed, not being able to sleep, so pro tip right here. Oh man, I feel like everybody watching is in a really good spot. We're taking something away from this. And this next one is gonna blow your mind. If you had to think about the single best way to eliminate hunger, to help control it, to keep yourself from being so dang hungry, the logical answer to that would be to just simply eat more, right? If you're eating more, you're less hungry because you're eating more. Makes sense, right? But how do we eat more? Well, what I do to allow myself to eat more is I do cardio every single day. Now, I know some of y'all might have just checked out after me saying that, but hear me out. The majority of us are pretty dang sedentary. I'm not sure the average age of the people that watch this channel, but I would say if you're out of high school, you're probably pretty sedentary unless your job requires otherwise, which means we're not burning very many calories in a day. We are simply just not. The goal of the cardio, right, not only is it super healthy, I mean, come on, man, if you haven't done no exercise in a while and you just add in 20 minutes of cardio a day, 30 minutes, it's better for your heart, it's better for your metabolism, you're gonna sleep better, it's better for everything. But the prime benefit is gonna be that your total daily energy expenditure will actually go up, which means that your body now needs more calories in a day to stay the exact same weight, which means you have a little more wiggle room to add those calories back in your diet while still creating a deficit. For me personally, I do 40 minutes of cardio a day. This allows me to eat about 3,000 calories a day without me actually gaining weight. If I didn't do that cardio, I would have 
assume probably be closer to like 2200, which means I'd have to die at around like 1800. And that's with no cardio, which sounds pretty miserable. And your cardio doesn't have to be crazy. You don't gotta go run around the block. You don't gotta do nothing like that, man. You can buy one of those cheap mini steppers that I have sitting in my closet that I bought an old video, did a review on it. You can watch it. It's like 30, $40 at Walmart. And you can just set that up in your house and do a little cardio that way. Richard Jim, set that incline up and just walk on the treadmill, burn some calories, hop on the stair step or hop on the elliptical. You don't gotta kill yourself. Just get on there, work up a sweat, breathe hard, and you know that it's doing something. And my ultimate tip with that is to find a show on Netflix or something like that you can watch on your phone while you're doing it. Today, I watched Chuck Liddell versus Tito Ortiz from like 2008. Not sure what year that was, but I watched that on my phone, the whole thing. And it took about 40 minutes. I watched it, it was great. And by the time it was done, boom, cardio's done. So make something you enjoy, tie a show to it. And it's gonna make it way easier and you're gonna be able to eat more and you're gonna be less hungry. We just knocked those first four tips out of the park, man. I'm telling you, if you haven't been implementing any of those in your diet and you're wondering why you're failing, start with those. If you do that, nothing but positive things are gonna happen, I swear. Now the fifth thing that I think we can all do to control our hunger and help us eat less, stay in a deficit, all that stuff, is to simply stay busier. And busy can uh, be a lot of things, really. That can be cleaning the house, that can be taking the dog for a walk, that can be going to see a friend, that can be maybe going to the grocery store, it can be doing yard work, it can be a lot of different things that get our mind off of the food. I find, personally for me, and I know a lot of people are this way, my cravings are worst and I'm most likely to give in and cheat on my diet and get the most hungry when I am bored. If I'm just by my house all day and I have nothing to do and I'm laying on the couch and Netflix is on, I'm just laying there and my brain's like, well, how can we spice this up? And nine times out of 10, uh, the answer to that is bad food. And you gotta look at it this way. Have you ever had one of those days that's a little different than a regular day? Maybe you have to wake up early, you take the dog to the vet, then you gotta run to the gym, then you gotta meet a friend real quick, then you get the car washed, you just have this day that is booked with things that you're doing. And by the time you get home, you're like, holy cow, I've barely eaten today. And that's because hunger wasn't really on your mind. You were busy, you were doing other things. You didn't have time to slow down and just really get those gears turning and let that hunger kick up. And we don't gotta be busy for busy's sake. You can actually do things that are gonna make your life better. They're gonna help you like not only improve your day to day, but it's gonna help you stay to your diet. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of doing something every day to make my position in life a little better. Whether I'm filming a video, going to the gym, which is a daily thing, or even just watching a YouTube video and trying to learn something about a diet, about an exercise, whatever. I always wanna make myself that much better every day. And if you can parlay that into your diet and you're keeping yourself busy, maybe with a new hobby that actually makes you happy, you get fulfillment from, or maybe that's just taking your girlfriend on a date, going to the park, going for a walk, getting her some flowers. I don't know, bud, I'm not a relationship guy. But what I'm saying is, is that busy can take a lot of forms. And I think laying on the couch all day, not burning calories, having those cravings knocking on our brain door all day, telling us we need something, we can easily throw that to the side and do something positive for our life. So take that dog for a walk, give that hedge a trim, go out and talk conspiracy theories with the mailman. Whatever you gotta do to stay busy, it's gonna go a long way on controlling your hunger. And that wraps up my top five tips for controlling hunger. If I happen to miss something, make sure you comment it down below because you never know who's down there. They could read it and it could uh, change their life. And to keep everybody updated, I know you're getting mad at me. We had a minor setback on the restock, but I'm telling you, all of the Anabars will be back in stock very soon. So I would love to give you guys a date, I would, but I don't have one that I can give you reliably in a video. So as soon as they launch, I will have a video ready on that day. But in the meantime, if you wanna know right when they launch, that way they don't sell out, make sure you follow me on social media at the Remington James on Instagram, it's probably your best bet. So thank you guys for your continued patience. And don't forget, the best dang cookbook on the market, baby. She's available at the link in my description. All the recipes on this channel that, uh, that'll that help you on this entire journey, man. When you enjoy what you're doing, you're eating foods you love, it's really hard to fail, especially combining this with all the tips in this video. And I mean that too. Appreciate you guys as always. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below for the algorithm. Hit that subscription button. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you at the next video. See you guys. I'm out. I don't really got nothing. Actually, I got it. I'm gonna eat that. Anabar for the win.